Hello guys, uh, welcome to our channel, Shore and You Family Karate. Welcome. So today I want to show you the Nanjaku tricks, Nanjaku rotations. Uh, the basic rotation first, and I'm using a Chinese Nanjak, so uh, not the Japanese or Okinawa Nanjak. So this is a Chinese Nanjak, which is very easy for rotations or tricks. So I'll be using one to seven basic. Then set the rotations. I'll come up with a uh, advanced rotations also in the next video. So those who have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, Shore and You Family Karate. So the first rotation is everybody may have seen in movies and all that. So the first rotation is just normally holding it. So this is the number one rotation. Number one rotation. How to do that is you have to hold comfortably almost in the center of the nunchuck don't hold uh, bottom or uh, you know up so almost in the center and you will be just lifting it above your shoulder not sideways not sideways so straight straight you hold it you know throw it and you can hold it on your armpit don't hold outside also so this is number one rotation so same way number two second rotation number two rotation basic okay number two rotation basic is the same way how you rotate it uh, you know to the front you will be rotating to the back to the back to the back so you'll be throwing to the back and you'll be holding now how you hold so in the back what you should do is when you throw it you don't have to throw shoulder up you don't have to throw shoulder up you can throw sideways so it is like it comes and hold here so as it comes here, you have to catch the hand will be here, hold it. So catch. So this is number two. So number two rotation, same way. You can do it faster according to you, according to your speed, how much you develop. Number three rotation. Number three is also very easy. It is almost like how you do number one. Only slight difference is that you will be rotating a bit more, uh, you know, one more time on the sides. So I will be showing number three rotation. Number three rotation, so this is number one. So if this is number one, you rotate one more and hold. You rotate once and hold it. Okay. You can rotate three times, four times also, that's not an issue. But here, for what we teach is once you rotate and hold, so it looks more beautiful. So this is number one. So you do one roll, hold it. So one hold it from the side here. And one mistake what you do is, when you rotate, don't rotate your hand also, don't do that. Try to keep the hand as steady as possible, as steady as possible, here, hold. So here, this is number three, number three rotation. <clears throat> number four rotation, the next rotation, basic number four rotation. Number four rotation, we call it as armpit rotation or shoulder to shoulder rotation. So how to do that is this way. Now how to do that? You, I will move first from the side. So watch. One, two, three. Watch here. Okay. So this is one, two, three. Okay. So how to do? One, two, three. One, two, three. 1, 2, 3. It's very easy. Okay. Now, when you do that, one of the main mistakes what you do is, when you lose too much your nunchuck downward or you keep it down, it may come and hit you. It will come and hit you. Or if you give too much to your armpit, it, the stick again will come and hit you on your uh, head or behind. So what you should do is, you have to arrange the nunchuck. You have to arrange the nunchuck. How will you arrange the nunchuck? Depending on the holding here, you can lift it or put it loose. Okay. Now, where it should touch? If you see, the nunchuck should touch almost near to the the chain here on the shoulder. Whether it comes even here also, you should touch near your chain. If you touch here, if you try to hit, it's going to be very painful. It's going to be literally painful. So. You have to touch your nunchaku. So arrange. First what you should do is train yourself only hitting there. See watch. Hitting here. Watch. 
So it's it you know only this part of the nunchaku touches only your armpit. So watch again. See what one two one two one two. So how can you arrange? You arrange the height by adjusting your hand, the movement of your hand. So what one two one two one two. Okay. The same thing you have to do both hands. So how to do it? So one two three. 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 To the side. This is number four. Number four rotation. Number five is a combination of number two and to the hip wise. How can you do hip wise rotations? So number five, I am going to do number five. Number five, the same way you will be, you know, hitting to the side, then side and do number two. So side, side, number two, side, side, number two. <clears throat> when you do it, make sure that the same way how you were hitting on your armpit or arm, you have to do the same way also. The nunchaku should not be hitting this edge, so it should be ending here. So you have to arrange accordingly. So how to do that? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So as the nunchaku is coming here, you have to bring it up again. It comes. It went here. From there again, you have to lift it and give to your back. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Practically, what we are doing is we are hitting a person here. We are hitting a person here, and one more person if it comes also from the front, you can hit backward. So one, two, three. One, two, three. It's easy. Just matter of practice, it will become perfect. Now number six. So that was number five. I'm teaching you now the number six. Number six is also a slight combination of number four. Okay. So number six is also we use for hitting a lot. You may have seen in many of the movies also the same. So number six is this. Now how to do that? How to do that? As you see, you may have been, you know, you will be beginning from here. So as the nunchaku goes up, like number four, then it comes back, you catch it, you catch. How to catch? You have to catch here, not the chain. Don't catch the chain. So, comes, you catch. Then throw it, catch. Again, I'm showing, it is coming up, you catch, you catch, not the chain, only, only the stick, only the stick. So from here, you will be hitting. Hit after hitting again. You have to catch. I mean, sorry, don't catch, but touch it. So you should touch because you need to control it. So control, catch again. So watch. I'll do it continuously now. Number six. To the side. Okay. The mistake, main mistake what can happen to this is holding the chain. Sometimes when you pull the chain, it may, may be hooking somewhere on the cloth and you may tear it. So be careful. The next thing is that when you are hitting, it may hit back at you. It may hit back. Usually it hit here. As the stick goes, it comes and hit you here. So first learn how to catch. Catch means here like this. Catch. Catch. Once you learn how to catch, then there is no problem. You should be catching only the stick, not the chain. So, catch. Okay, so this is number six. So, continuously I will be doing it. So, we can watch. And as I told you, these are all attacks. You can hit. This is a very easy weapon you can uh, you know, carry uh, in your bag or in your pocket. There are small types of nunchakus also available. So it's a very easy uh, you know, way to defend yourself. So you can use it outside. It's a very nice thing. So number six. So number seven. This is the last, the last number I teach for basics. Then the advanced will be coming also, uh, which I will be doing in the next video. So number seven. Number seven. 
so you can see this is number 7 now how to do that this is also an attack how to do that is like how you hold is like you know how in the armpit you will be holding so it is you are doing a reverse 8 a slanting 8 it is this way so how to do that first you have to learn the nancer to learn how to rotate the nancer 1 2 3 catch okay 1 2 3 catch okay so i'll do that it is this way 1 2 3 catch 1 2 3 catch it is like it's an attack to the chin or to the groin or any part of the body or the arm and all that when somebody is coming to punch you can hit you can hit easily you can hit you can hit hit okay so it is hitting one two three one two three one two three one two three okay this is up to one to seven from one to seven basic nunchaku rotations so I will be coming up with more rotations of nunchak, uh, combinations, advanced movements and all that plus uh, what we use uh, in uh, Okinawan Karate uh, Katas. So, so please keep watching my videos, the video, uh, you know, please like our video like Shorin Ryu Family Karate. So we practice Shorin Ryu and but generally for everybody to help everybody we will be using general uh, karate also generally punches, blocks, kicks, strikes, everything. So please like my channel. Please subscribe it. Please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my channel.